G'day viewers, Oren here. SMB1 is an insecure protocol used for storage that is disabled by default on Windows Server 2019, Windows Server 2022, and Windows Server 2025, but present on earlier versions of the operating system. Microsoft has been messaging for some time that SMB1 should be disabled in your environment. But sometimes it sneaks back in because someone deploys a new server running Windows Server 2016, or someone adds it to a newer version of Windows Server when they're trying to resolve another issue in their environment. So I'm gonna do a demo showing you how to remove it, and I'll do it on Windows Server 2016. The operating system is still deployed on tens of millions of computers around the world, and on Windows Server 2016, SMB1 is installed by default. So even if you went through and purged SMB1 in the past, you might have deployed new Windows Server 2016 instances since then and simply forgot to get rid of SMB1 after deployment. So let's start by checking to see if SMB1 is enabled on a server. I'm gonna do all of this in PowerShell and all of the commands are listed in the description. So from an elevated prompt I run, get SMB server configuration, pipe, select, enable SMB1 protocol. This checks whether SMB1 is enabled on this server. And here the results come back true. We know this server has SMB1 installed because it's a stock Windows Server 2016 deployment patched right up to today. You can also check to see if the SMB1 feature files are installed by running the command get Windows optional feature online feature name SMB1 protocol. And as we can see here, it's enabled. That makes sense, protocol there, features there. So when you remove SMB1, you not only want to disable the protocol, but you want to remove the feature files. But if you're being ultra cautious before you do this, you should audit SMB1 to see if it's present and being used. You can do that by running the command, set SMB server configuration, audit SMB1 access, true. You can check that you've enabled auditing by running the command, get SMB server configuration, piped, select audit SMB1 access. Now, once you enable SMB1 auditing, you can check the Microsoft Windows SMB server audit event log for access events. Each time a client attempts to use SMB1 to connect to the server, an entry with event ID 3000 will appear in this log. Okay, we're ready to remove SMB1. So let's start by disabling the protocol with set SMB server configuration, enable SMB1 protocol, false. We can check that that's worked by running the command get SMB server configuration piped to select enable SMB1 protocol. And we can see here that we've disabled it. But even when we disable the protocol, the feature is still installed, which we verify with get Windows optional feature. So to make sure it's absolutely gone, we uninstall the feature using disable Windows optional feature, online, feature name, SMB1 protocol. Once we do that, we're asked to bounce the server to complete the operation. We restart Windows Server and we run the get Windows optional feature command again, and we can see the feature is in a disabled state. SMB1 is gone, and in a deep dish pizza parlor somewhere in the world, Ned Pyle is a happy man. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.